Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Rockies versus Blue Jays Major League Baseball matchup on Saturday, September 2nd, 2023. Here on YouTube, I do tons of free pick videos, so be sure to subscribe to our channel. We do free picks every day, sportschatplace.com, pickdogs.com, right here on YouTube, as well as across social media and our live shows. And when you give out that many free picks, you're bound to like some games more than others. And to find out which games those are, as well as to get best bets from the world's best handicappers, head on over to our website, pickdogs.com. Just click on the premium picks tab. While you're there, use the discount code PICK. You'll get 15% off all of your purchases of $19 or more. We also have the Pick Dogs Dime Club. And the way the Dime Club works, certainly not for everyone. But uh, if you're a larger better, you have a larger bankroll, call the toll-free number, text the number on the website. They'll talk to a live person. But they'll answer all your questions. Let's get to this one, though. Rockies taking on the Blue Jays. For the Blue Jays, team that sat on the inside looking out most of the season in the wild card race now on the outside looking in and i'll tell you in the loss column they might be in some trouble they have zero room for as far as wiggle room goes it is win now or win never for this blue jays team as they are seriously um, have let a lot of opportunity go past them i gotta say they got no one to blame but themselves and i think a lot of guys underperforming this season a lot of guys that they counted on manoa um, you know, is is easily the, the the first name that we could point to. But really, Vlad Jr. hasn't hasn't played all that well either this season, and a lot of the other guys have been streaky at best. So I just think the Blue Jays, while they're not done, while they're not a horrible team, like I said, just no wiggle room left whatsoever. For the Colorado Rockies, I think this is time to do some serious soul searching. And I think not just about the Colorado, about this team and the players on this team. I'm talking about baseball in Colorado altogether. I don't think this is the best idea. And I'm, you guys can just criticize me, the Colorado fans and the people of Colorado. It has nothing to do with the fan base and supporting the team. I just think it's a sport that doesn't fit there. And I think if you're going to have it there, well, number one, you got to have a dome stadium. Because remember back in the spring when it's snowing in Colorado and baseball is going on? Nothing good about that. And of course, the altitude makes it hard for them to attract quality players there in, in Denver. So, I mean, it is just just a not a good thing. I'm not saying the Rockies have been horrible forever and that they've never had a good team. And in fact, they've been to the World Series before, but it's so rare and so few and far between. It's just not even fun to watch these games anymore. This Rockies team packed it in a while ago. And normally the Rockies have at least have a winning record at home, but they haven't even had that. Ty Block gets the ball for this one for the Rockies. It really doesn't matter. Kikuchi on the mound for the Blue Jays. We said at the beginning of the season, this was one of our two or three guys that we said was going to have a big comeback year. And look at him. Is he already down a run and a half? He's probably the best pitcher on the staff. I'm going to take the Blue Jays to blow him out of the building. And that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks today, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. Our betting tools are 100% free and the way they work, they show you just how often all the bets on the board today actually hit. Then they show you today's odds and from there, you can assess the risk reward, putting yourself on the bets that come in the most and pay the most. That's how you make money betting on sports.